incoming raids, and they're cloaked too. So Watson, he's going to decide whether he wants to commit his scan to this or not. He does commit one scan, but he has nothing to fight it off. Uh, I think that was kind of a knee-jerk reaction from him that didn't quite pay off. He needed to wait until he had his uh, Goliath in position. But Watson, look at this. Look at this SCV saturation. Hardly anything at all for Watson. And just almost a perfect game from Baby because he's expanding twice now. And he's going to be able to lock down this game with these new expansions. Down at the 6 o'clock and down at the 5 o'clock uh, natural expansion. Just look at this. Continued harassment. This is a this is a very good game to display mechanics versus uh, just <laughs> being around a long time. Veteran. Veteranacy. That's not a word. I just invented another word. I'm sorry. I do that a lot. Experience. That's the word I was looking for. Sorry, I'm a little bit loopy. It's late. Can't find the words I want. But, uh, yes, veteranacy. Veteranacy. <laughs> so close. Yes, veteranacy to fight back baby here. There's a uh, mine glitched a little bit. So Watson, if he's not careful, he might drag that mine into all those SCVs, but I don't think it matters at this point. Baby, he has the map control. He has more bases than Watson. He's gotten so much damage done with his with his drops. That dropship play was just insane. Insane dropship play. And I thought his dropship play against Stork was pretty insane. Just the way he picked up units at the exact right time, not wasting any units, just picking them up, taking them back to the base, getting them repaired. But, wow. So, Hwasen way down on troops. And at this point, Hwasen is just playing a losing game. Because he, he doesn't have as many troops as Baby. He doesn't have as many bases as Baby. He doesn't have the maneuverability. He doesn't have the options to fight this off. doesn't have enough scan to fight off these pesky wraiths that are still drilling through his tank line. So, Hwasen is pretty much running out of time to do anything of importance. The only thing that Hwasen could really do at this point is just try to sneak some dropships out. Get about three or four dropships, do a doom drop basically into the main, wet yourself into a corner, try to take out all the production buildings. But at, at this point, I think Baby would be okay if that happened. I think he has quick enough reactions to come back with some of his troops, siege up, and get rid of an attack like that. So I don't think Hwasen has much chance of getting back in this game from this point. Look at how many bases that Baby has. His mechanics are insane. Still picking at that 12 o'clock base, and Hwasen just trying to hang on as long as he can. He knows he has a pretty sizable army still out in the middle of the map. Hwasen is moving out with that entire army right now, putting himself in a vulnerable, vulnerable position, and Baby taking advantage of that right now, putting his tanks at a position right on the high ground, so Hwasen forced to fight up his own choke, but Hwasen, at least he pulled some SCVs off. He's going to be able to take care of this attack, but it's going to cost him a lot more than he wanted. A lot of SCVs went down there too, but okay, let's see what Hwasen's up to. Still has an SCV at the uh, 2 o'clock position, so he's still trying to take another base. Uh, not really having the minerals to do it, I think. He does not have 400 minerals right now. Doesn't really have those to spare. He's trying to get an army out to be able to defend this. And here is his siege tank positioning. He's trying to find a nice position for his uh, Goliath too, so he doesn't get ambushed by wraiths yet again. Coming in with his own wraiths and Hwasen trying to hold his half of the map. A lot of troops coming in for Baby. Hwasen is getting all of his, unseizing all of his troops so he can fall them back to one position and be able to tackle this troop moving up the map. Baby coming up, coming up with those troops and Hwasen spooked a little bit so he's running away from the middle. Uh, and still trying to get defensive position there and Hwasen hasn't even scouted all the new bases. He just now scouted that 9 o'clock base. He hasn't even had time to scout right now so he doesn't know about the 6 or the 5. So <laughs> as soon as he sees those he might GG because he knows he's going to be so far behind. He is taking the 2 o'clock position. If Baby is not up on this game he might let Hwasen take that and hold that but at this point Baby's just playing so good I think he'll be able to drop that soon enough. If he's still scanning all over the place, he's going to find that new base soon. Hwasen trying to do a drop. There are siege tanks, though, so Hwasen forced back. Is a harassment getting denied, and Baby coming up with his own dropships, going to going to say, hey, Hwasen, this is how you do a drop harass, coming up with about three or four dropships. And now Baby sneaking in. He sees the new base coming up at 2 o'clock, sniping the SCV that wasn't even working on that, so that base is going to go down. Hwasen going to be stuck on three yet again. And the only reason that Hwasen is not GGing at this point is because he hasn't scouted all the new bases. If he knew how many bases that Baby had right now, he would tap out. 
definitely tap out at this point in the game. But Hwasen getting some nice dropship play there. Baby forced off, just sacrificed a few troops. Hwasen fighting back the rays that were harassing that 2 o'clock. So he's thinking, maybe, maybe I can get up that 2 o'clock base. And he's going to be crying soon because Baby coming in with his uh, four dropships full of troops. Troops all over the place. That base is going to be canceled or he's just going to lose it. Hwasen moving down at the same time with a bunch of troops. I did not cancel that command center. So he's just going for the push right now. Hwasen just going down with his dropships. Very aggressive play. He's going to try to catch these troops off guard. But Baby, just look at the amount of troops that Baby has right now. Just creeping up the map, crawling up with the siege tanks, and just, wow, destroying everything. And Hwasen actually retreating, doing a sigh. That's that's the pro gamer sigh. That's when you know you're losing, but you think, well, maybe maybe if I keep fighting, they'll, I'll somehow get back into this game. But Hwasen is not going to win. Hoyt Baby coming up with some more dropships, and he has taken the entire map. He still has some race out. That race is going to go down, but uh, t he just has the entire lower half of the map. Hwasen is building another base over at the 3 o'clock position, but Baby, um, he just has so much scouting going on. He's doing so well finding these new bases. Oh, he's going to take out the natural expansion too, locking down all of Hwasen's options. So Hwasen is going to do another drop. Yeah, he find this this other base. I'm not even sure if he knew about that base, but he knows about it now. Coming in with the dropships, dropping his tanks, and Baby was super quick to lift that command center. No damage on that command center whatsoever, and a quick to run his SCVs as well. Hwasen loses his command center, doesn't even lift it. So Hwasen, at this point, I think he's basically on one mining base. I think he might be mining inside of his main. If he is, it's not very much mining at all. But, uh, yes, he's just hanging on for hope. Maybe there'll be a miracle. Maybe there'll be a big earthquake or something, and all of the troops will go right into the earth. Huge mudslide. Uh, the universe favors Hwasen. But that's not going to happen. Hwasen's still getting up that base over at the, ni the uh, 3 o'clock, though. So, I guess if he gets some troops out, he might be able to take that 3 o'clock. But really, uh, Hwasen doesn't have any chance to get back in this game. Baby, look at the amount of dropships he has. And I think he's going to go for the game ender right now, coming up with all of his drop ships. He has all of his troops out there. He has plenty of tanks to just A move right through this. I'm not sure why he's backing off at this point. Maybe, okay, there are a lot of tanks in there. But GG from Hwasen. Well played from Hwasen, especially at the, at the beginning of that game, to fight back from some, somewhat of a disadvantage, almost to a huge advantage, if he didn't let all the economic harassment get done to him. But baby... You continue to impress me. So, so impressed by Baby right now. So, Baby, will Baby be able to move up to a very high position? I'd say it's very possible. I'd say it's possible, but okay, I'm going to move on to Group C.